Hey friends, welcome back to Krusty Cranks. All right, today I thought we'd do a little striper pattern and um, pretty simple one. Um, now I know some people have been asking me about stencils, how, where the, can they get my stencils and stuff. Well, um, coming soon I'm gonna let you know of how you can go about getting some of my stencils that I do. Um, but I did get a bunch of new stencils um, in that I purchased and that you can purchase too from the same places. Um, so I'm gonna do some videos on those. Um, but yeah, let's get on with this striper pattern. Okay, um, the colors we're going to be using, obviously I've already got her all painted up with titanium white. And uh, that's my choice for base colors. I just like the way it sprays. If you're new to painting, um, you know, the uh, titanium is a good base coat paint. Um, it's nice and thin, sprays nice, and has good coverage to it couple coats and it's ready to go um, but for the striper pattern we're going to add a little bit of pearlized white we're going to start off with pearlized white and then we're going to use a little of the frank's red hot sauce of bait painting the vallejo shifters electric blue intense violet and um if you haven't picked up any of these i suggest you get a set um space dust is the uh Space Dust is the pack you want to get. These are the ones I use. There's a couple different ones. Um, but I got these on Amazon. Um, I think for like 18 bucks. And they're normally like 20 25 at hard at uh, Hobby Lobby. Um, so go check it out on Amazon. Pick you up some of these. There's six bottles in there. Um, and I use these on everything. That's why I call them the Frank's Red Hot Sauce. Put that stuff on everything. All right, so then we're gonna come on top with just a light little coat of pearlized gold, just to give it a little sheen, and, um, and then we're gonna put the stripes on and get the back with uh, detail smoke black. Um, so if you ain't using detail smoke black, that's another good color. If you want to get away from just using straight opaque black, this is a nice blending color. I really. You know, this is like my third bottle of this stuff. I just use it on a lot of baits, um, so it's a good color. And it gives you a little more control than just black, opaque black. So let's get the paints out of the way, get the brush loaded up, and we'll get started painting this guy. Okay, got the pearl white in there. And um, if, you, if, you, if you're new to my videos, when I do pearl white, I like to put a drop or two of reducer in there. It just... Uh, Sprays a little nicer, I think. Just a drop, maybe two drops, depending on how much you're spraying. On a full little bowl like this, I might do a couple drops, maybe three. Um, but it, I think it just spreads, spreads nicer, sprays nicer, um, and you don't have to use a ton of pre air pressure. I'm on about uh, 22. So I'll put the pearl white down first and then I'll put the Vallejo. The reason I'm using the Vallejo is um, if you look at a striper, most most white fish like crappies and stripers and, and uh, lighter color shads, they all kind of have that blue, sometimes blue green, sometimes blue violet little sheen to them. And, um, I started using the Vallejo on my baits and um, a lot of times when you use the color shifters you're painting it over top of black but I found out with the electric blue and the intense violet and the green and blue violet um, it kind of lays that little bit of uh, blue violet blue green transparency shine to it it's it just I don't know just a fan of it ever since I started painting my baits with it um, I got a couple of these to do so I'm gonna go ahead and use this pearl white up and like I've said before I usually 
I will usually uh, prime my baits a bunch at a time and give that white a nice nice day or two to to um, yeah that's looking good if you can see that pearl it gives them a couple good days to cure just makes it easier when you're using stencils but let me get the uh, Vallejo in there and we'll put a little sheen on it okay again I'm using the electric blue intense violet and I'm just gonna put a few little drops in there don't take much okay good point coming up here good little tip on these Vallejos they get a skin on them let's see if I can show that to you it's right there if you can see it hopefully you got it so you always kind of want to clean out your brush or your bottle tip get that scum out of there so it don't end up in your brush a lot of times it just clogs up the hole and then it won't spray it come out anyway of the bottle but there we go and then make sure you push that back down that really good if you pull that off because I have dumped tip and all in my airbrush before all right, we're just going to put a couple little drops in here. We just want a little bit of that color shift on it. On top of that pearl, man, it just really looks flashy. And I'm, like I said, I'm putting it on top of the pearl before I put my other colors on because I just want that to kind of come through the back a little bit. Alright, there it is. I know it's kind of hard to see that on, uh, on camera sometimes, but man, when you paint it on your baits, you can, you can see it really good. It's like that little color change it gives from blue to violet or blue to green if you're using the blue green all right i'm gonna clean this out one good thing you want to clean this stuff out right away don't let this stuff sit in there it will gum up your airbrush just like that skin i just took out of there okay Next, we're going with the pearlized pearl satin gold. And we're going to lay a little layer on top and come down the side just a little bit. Not much. I just want to have a little bit of a gold. Our uh, stripers here, I know when you look at a lot of fish in different areas, they look different. They kind of take on the conditions of the watercolors and things like that but our our stripers have a just a little hint of gold that you can barely see so that's what we're doing right there and I hit the tip a little bit Okay, got my stencil on there. Got the detail smoke black in the brush. And let's put some stripes on this striper.
just put a little thin spray on there. Cool. All right, let me get the other one on. Stencils want to come up right here. Can I get a little bit more up here? another little drop in here That should get it. Let's um let's get a little mesh. Okay. 
Okay. Let's hit this back a little bit. just a little bit more that's the nice thing about the detail smoke black is you can just build them blacks up real nice and smooth real nice and slow all right give it a little bit of heat before i pull it off I want to do just a little bit more right on this side right here. That one looks pretty good. Okay, now I'm just going to hint that back just a little bit more. Dirty up the face just a little bit, get the nose. All right, let's get some eyes on it. Some epoxy. And see what she looks like. Okay, let's get some eyes on it. Um, we're going to go with these natural looking eyes. Um, I think I got these on Amazon. I'll, uh, I'll try to start putting links in the description for different things that I use. Um, and then that way, I mean, it throws a couple pennies to the channel. They, you know, if they're if I don't have an affiliate, there won't be an affiliate link. But most of the Amazons, I've got an Amazon affiliate, so it throws a couple couple pennies. Not much, believe me. People think you make a lot of money, but you don't. Um, so Loctite, I'm gonna use the Loctite because that's what I got right now. You know, you guys know I usually use the brush with the Gorilla Glue, but Last couple times I've been to Wally's, they haven't had that. 
which is kind of crazy. When I do find it, it'll probably be twice as much as it used to be. But I'm using the Loctite. I like the little gel. I'm going to use this little natural eye. It's kind of got a little yellow shred in it. And I think it looks pretty cool on these, on the one I did. I'll show you the other one I did in the end of the video. Kind of goes with that gold and that kind of goes with that gold and black. One thing I will say about the Amazon eyes, if you're familiar with putting the eyes on a lot, you'll find that the Amazon eyes are usually all right-sided eyes. And what I mean by that is, or left-sided, I don't know, right or left, but sometimes when they're off-center a little bit, like this one particularly, is off center and you want to give it kind of the way that the fish is looking in a different direction or like up or down or back um, the eyes are always on the same pattern so what happens is when you look at this okay this eye is going up and the dark part of it is up and there's a little spot down there but when you flip it over it's kind of the opposite um, the dark spot is up, but the little spot is different. I, I mean, people probably don't notice that when they're buying baits, but when you're a bait maker and you do it, you want to do it right, you will notice it probably. But yeah, if you look, go looking at like um, other eyes, especially for taxidermy, like glass eyes and stuff you'll notice they have a left and a right but for fishing baits I guess it's all right cheaper a lot cheaper there it is all right I'm gonna get some epoxy on it and I'll like I said I'll show you the other one I did which is a lot darker um, and you can tell me in the comments which one you like but there we go let me get some epoxy on it and I'll bring you guys back and we'll wrap this video up <coughs> Okay, friends, we're back with the finished lures. Actually, I did four different ones, just kind of playing around with different variations of them a little bit. Um, some of them are a little darker on the back and no scale pattern. Um, one of them, I put the Vallejo on the back side of it, just so you can kind of see that. That kind of looks cool. Um, and red eyes. And... Um, then here's the scale pattern one we did with the light back. And then this one's got a little darker back right here. And then another one darker back. Um, so yeah, it's I like to play around with different variations of, of allure once I come up with something. But um I think it I think it turned out pretty good. I got a little spot of dust on there. But uh yeah, I like it. Um and a lot of times I'll put these out for sale and see see which one sells or if they all sell. Um, but all right, that wraps this video up. Okay, the colors we used today was titanium white by Golden, and then we used Create Text pearlized white. Came on top of that with uh, Vallejo electric blue and violet color shift, and then we came on top of that with the smoked black um, detail smoked black by Wicked, and um, then two coats of epoxy. These two up here got the natural eye. Actually, the three of them got the all-natural eyes. And this is the only one I just played around with and put a red eyes on just to see what it looked like. And um, turned out pretty decent. I like them. 
like all th I like all four of them actually. Um, these two are pretty close to each other, just a little dirtier on the face and a little more around the eyes on this one. All right, but uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, hope you picked up something and um, stay tuned. I'll have some announcements about how you can pick up some of the stencils I use in the videos. And um, hope you guys have a good day. And always remember, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Until then, stay crusty, my friends.